Nearly 50% of them are infected with chlamydia. That's right, they're walking infections. But even without the diseases, they're still some of the worst survivalists on the planet. Let's talk about their diet first. Eucalyptus leaves. Low-nutrient, toxic garbage that their bodies can barely digest. It's like trying to survive on cardboard, and it leaves them so lethargic they spend most of their lives doing absolutely nothing. No wonder they look high all the time. Now, reproduction? That's another train wreck. Koalas are slow breeders. Females can only have one baby baby per year, and even that's optimistic. Their pregnancies last about a month, and when the joey is born, it's basically a pink jelly bean that's entirely helpless. The baby crawls into the mother's pouch to grow for six months, and even after that, it relies on her for over a year. And the males? They scream like demons to attract females, which is honestly more terrifying than effective. If the female doesn't want to mate, the male might resort to outright aggression. Combine that with the rampant chlamydia infections that can cause infertility, and you've got a species that's barely hanging on.